Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure. This is Gear City. Last time we played, I got it wrong and we went bankrupt. We're back and we're going to get it right. And I've uh, I've got myself a car. I've taken an existing design and just modified it a little bit. Uh, the one thing I'm not 100% certain of at the moment is that the back tyres, they're not exactly the same. Right, there we go, it's done. It, it, it's freaking stylish is what it is, um, and uh, and therefore it's all a good thing. Right, I've, I've finished with you. Uh, obviously I've leased all of the bits and pieces that have gone into this. We're gonna get it, uh, we're gonna get it jazzed up, and I've started in Chicago. This, this was the move that I didn't do in my last attempt, and therefore I think we're probably going to be fine. Uh, so, wait, 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 let's not save the vehicle. Uh, right, now then, here are my ratings. And, uh, and what I was aiming for was a, a modest amount of both performance and quality. Yes. If I, uh, if I crank the price up a little bit, what do we get out of that? The quality goes through the flaming sun. Okay. Yeah. Do we think the market needs that level of quality? No. I want to try and get the, the costs to around 1600 at the most. Uh, how about if we up the complexity... Uh, it's taking 11 months to build this already. That's a long wait. Yeah, it is. But I want the, I want the quality. Okay, well, the complexity gives us top four only. Right, that takes us to a 51 quality. We're going to win car of the year with this. Uh, that takes us to a lot more quality if we, uh, if we increase the styling. And a bit more luxury as well. We're going with a coupe again. I know, I know that the Phaeton is uh, is an easier way to uh, to go, but I want a uh, I want a coupe because uh, that's the kind of that's the kind of business we are in. Fifteen ninety seven that'll do nicely. It's called the Comic. No, I don't think it is. I think this is called the uh, uh, the mm, you know this is called the Bad Boy um, uh, XL. Oh, CXL. Yeah, I don't know what the C stands for, but it's good. Uh, the bad boy CXL and the trim level is uh, zesty. Right. I'm into it. I'm feeling it. The power's lacking, uh, but I did have quite a powerless engine, and therefore it doesn't really matter. Design that thing. Okay, that's going to take, what, 11 months, did it say? Let's say yes for the sake of argument. Right, I'll skip forward to that point, shall I? And then we'll get the reviews. Okay, well, several things are exciting at the moment. Uh, firstly, we're out of money. Uh, secondly, that, you really can't you can't invest that much in the development of your first car in the first car. Uh, the the big talk bad boys CXL Zesty, however, is ready. Okay, what do you think? Go big, go home. I think go moderately sized. Uh, so that we can avoid going home. We've got six months to get ourselves in profit. Do I want a tutorial? Nah, I don't need it. Uh, right, production. Yeah, talk to me about it. Uh, right, crank it. To, give me the max here. There you go, there's the max. That'll do me 77 a month. It's going to be expensive because this is, a, this is an expensive car to produce. We don't need 77 a month. We will go for... 30. If we sell 15 in the first month, we should be fine. Make it so. Okay. Right. Now we go to the branch. Close the factory. Go, don't close the factory, but close the factory. Uh, go to the branch. Right. Do I want a tutorial? No, I don't need a tutorial. Uh, right. And we go to distribution. Okay. We're up against uh, the Clyde Knowledge. Yeah. At 2,300. Yeah. I haven't got a rating on the uh, on the old uh, best bad boy zesty here. It's suggesting a price of three thousand four hundred. I think that's extreme, but you know what? I'm I'm prepared to give it a go, but I'll put it at a more consumer friendly price. There we go. Type rating thirty four, overall rating thirty three. We're the best in market, and these are selling quite handsomely. Okay. Do we think that our aggressive pricing stance is going to have an impact on that? It's the best in market. I think even if we sell a couple, you know, there's there's potential here. You know what? One month out of the six that we've got to turn ourselves around, I think we can chance it. 
for a biscuit we will risk and i done in a marketing tutorial uh right blatin oh it's, this is quite an expensive market to be uh, advertising in yeah newspapers billboards all right and we'll do a little bit of splashy magazine action as well just a little bit there we go could advertise on sports not going to advertise on sports all right okay back to the office make or break let's go well it's not make or break it's make or whatnot we lost 36 grand we made 27,000 in profit uh in sales rather not profit uh we sold eight we've got 22 in stock okay so what do you think first month of sales you never know let's check the let's check the review uh okay all right let's go vehicle reviews please uh the yeah uh, talk, tell me about the bad boy talk zesty uh big talk yes no no how do i get this full page give me give me give me a full page report here because it's cutting it off the side what if i were to go second window and then go back oh that's something else entirely that's no we're we're all over the place try it again uh vehicle reviews vehicle reviews yeah 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 big picture all right we'll just pretend we know what the words are and so oh, hold on we could do the horizontal scroll bar which is certainly not the spawn of satan um big talk took some of its best engineers and threw them on the bad boy cxl zesty design the marketing department says they took all of their popular references and features and rolled it into this new coupe will big talk bad boy csx uh, cxl uh, zesty outshine its competition such as the knowledge and trip functional uh, functionally it might do on paper but how does it work in the real world right okay yeah yeah get past this uh, normally we take the vehicles out on a track to test. No, you don't because nothing's that fast. Top speed of 26 miles per hour. Okay. Uh, and, uh, we fear for our lives anytime there is a slight bend in the road. Uh, so in a nutshell, the bad boy CXL Zesty is as slow as a rock. The only way to make it move is to push it off a cliff. Sounds good. Strongest selling point. Yes, we have one. Uh, is its exceptional sense of luxury. Word. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the seats are so nice, I never wanted to leave. In fact, I'm writing this while sitting in the bad boy CXL Zesty. Yeah, you are. Uh, it gives you a sense of home. It makes it sound like you're in a second living room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's make a vehicle that people can live in. Uh, and let me tell you, it rocks. Hey, awesome. Spare no expense and perfection are known to be the mottos of big talk. Oh, yeah. Um... All right, okay, long term, the dog is said to be man's best friend, but this isn't true anymore. Uh, I propose that the big talk, bad boy CXL Zesty, is truly man's best friend. Not once in our long-term testing did it need a repair. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, the big boy, uh, the fuel economy is impressive, but not in a good way. Oh. Uh, the 12.8 uh, miles per gallon is one of the worst in class. Yeah, but it's so luxurious. Uh, if safety is your priority, then this isn't the best in market. That being said, it's better than a lot of vehicles as well. All right, okay. Uh, I was happy to spend time with it. Uh, it is absolutely one of the best coupe you can buy. And it's an instant classic that will become a benchmark for the segment. I'm still about to go bankrupt, though. So, you know... All right, okay, well, what we can do is we can, because uh, we're, we're selling in uh, a volume that is not disastrous. 22 in stock, yeah. Okay, production, yeah. Half the production, okay. Right, so that we're still keeping them coming in. Drop the price a little, or do one more month at this price and see if sales pick up. We really only need one good month, and uh, and then we're you know we're laughing. Yeah, uh, I don't know, and that's why this game's great. Um, yeah, cut the price now or hold firm and see if we get a see if we get a bump. Let's see if we get a bump. All right, let's do it. Please bump, 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 and our survey says. Yeah, 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 no, it's okay. Yeah, I, I get it. Urgent action isn't everything. We sold nine. So one more. All right, we've got 28 in stock. Uh, the reduction in uh, in manufacturing helped. I think a reduction in price will shift more. If we get the sweet spot of price versus production, then we're golden. 
Now, given that we are so much better than the opposition in terms of quality, what one point? Yeah, yeah, so much better that I think we could uh, we could do well here. Now, we are a better vehicle than the uh, the all deduct, and therefore I think if we drop to two uh, eight fifty, okay, all right. Now, what we would be looking for there is an uplift in i mean if we do 15 to 18 sales something like that then i think we're in business all right okay if you go bankrupt again are you going to start again yes what's going on research is complete yeah i know i've done that already uh vehicle sales none because i didn't make any new component design delete everything delete, please now the mistake i made this time interestingly enough is that uh is that i um i designed a car that took too long to get the initial design done if you can get something rocked out in about seven or eight months you'll be fine because you'll still have cash in the bank this one took 12 and therefore it's not a good thing oh cash flow is just coming up short okay 13 sales at the lower price yeah you know what i need last month's revenue report i need last month's revenue report yeah okay I can save three grand by cutting the marketing. Yeah. Do you think that there are more sales to be had if you drop the price more? That's a tough one to say. Uh, operations. I want. Uh, I want uh, sales. Yeah, vehicle sales, and I want last month. What did we do last month? There must be a way of looking at last month's sales. I can't read. I should make a note. Okay, look, material cut. I only made 14 grand over. In fact, I only made 13 grand over the cost of, of production. Yes, and I'm just saying. We're, we're almost at break even in terms of, of that getting done. So, we're, I mean, we're making profit per vehicle. Yeah, what I want is I want my uh, monthly report. Can I get last month? Previous and next. Okay, cool. All right, previous. Showing one of what? Oh, there you go, previous. 30,000. Okay, you sure? 27,000. Ah, okay. All right. So we are making more net revenue, uh, but less profit per vehicle. So let's uh yeah all right okay yeah no wait I'll, I'll probably jump to the wrong conclusion there but that's okay uh i'm i'm quite willing to jump to all the conclusions at the moment uh we sold 13 which puts us firmly in second place i think if we drop below their price so if we drop to 26.99 then we can we can possibly push them out of the market entirely well, okay, well, you've only got a couple of months to figure out if that's the case or not. Yeah, I know, but that's the adventure. Let's go. Come on, 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 come on. Nuts! Okay, all right, okay. Yep, 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 yep. 37, we sold an extra car. <laughs> Fantastic. You've got two months worth of reserves. Yep. Okay, so what do we need? Well, I need 40 grand in the bank. I need 50, I'd only make 50 grand in the next two months. Yikes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Urgent action is required. Uh, yeah. All right. So factories. Yes. Production. Yes. Cease production. Right. Assign. And then close that. Yeah. Open this. Yeah. And then uh, we will go with distribution. We will stay as is. Yeah. We could drop lower and still make a profit. You bet. Yeah, you know, actually, yeah, it's not a terrible idea. Let's go for twenty five forty nine. That's a good price. It's not. It's a terrible price. We should be charging much more than that. Uh, and then marketing. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's go to magazines. Let's kill it. Yep. All right. Let's go to uh, billboards. Let's kill it. Yeah. Let's go to newspapers. Let's kill it. Right. You, there was probably a button that I could just flush the whole thing there. Uh, right, so we're just selling stock. We are not marketing at all. Give it a go, see what happens. All right. 
only 19k. Oh, heck. Yeah, you sold 15 cars. And you've only got 16 left. You're going to go bust again. Oh, flipping heck. Unless someone will lend you 27 grand. Ooh, okay. Yeah. No, I don't want a banking tutorial. I want a line of credit of... Uh, how much will you lend me? Four, six. Okay. Bank loan. Yes. Loan amount, 55,000. Yes. Okay. Yeah, sign it. Okay, done. All right. Okay. 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 All right. That gets me out of pokey. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. We're out of pokey. Um, should have issued a bond. Ah, no, 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 no. It's okay. We've got 19 grand coming in. Yeah. Now, if we crank the factory back on again, just to do one line at max production speed. Yes. I love this game. It's great. I don't, this is the most I've struggled with it, I'll be honest. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's typical. You know, you commit something to the permanence of video and, uh, and all of a sudden it all goes awry. Now, I could have also selected an easier difficulty level, but I didn't. Um, no, no, no. Instead, I decided, no, power in. Come on. Yeah, you're up for this. Uh, right. Okay. So what about marketing? Let's turn on a little bit. All right. We want to let people know we're out there. 350 quid. That'll do. Okay. Office. Yeah. Crank it forward a month. Let's go. Our survey says a thousand in profit. Come on. We live and you've got, uh, you've got reserves still. And we're also increasing the number of reserves. Okay. All right. Yes, that'll do. Go again. All right, here we go. 8,000 in profit. Yes, baby. Yes, yes. Two extra sales. Okay. All right. We Obviously, we're making our loan repayment, and that's that's good. Bit more marketing? Yeah, I think we'll dial a little bit more into marketing. What about second sales office? Don't think it helps us. Not at the moment. Not until I'm at the point where I can comfortably crank manufacturing up. Um and absorb the cost if it doesn't work how did the marketing not take i don't know what did you spend it on i thought i thought i pressed the button all right well look here you go go uh, go 550 apply and then read it before you move on okay all right all right we'll do new laws uh we'll get our marketing up to about a thousand in total there you go that'll do it's just over a thousand um and because uh, we can we can absorb that, let's go. Our survey says forty five thousand in sales, three grand up. We sold eighteen now. Yeah, here see the, the, that's the thing is that I'm spending an extra grand in this and that and the other and the rest of it. Yeah, stick with it. You're going in the right direction. Okay, we'll talk about research shortly. There we go. We made ten k this month. Yep, you are eating into your reserves. Yeah, do you want to build the reserves up a little bit by adding a bit more, uh, a bit more manufacturing? Because you can always turn. Well, you've got to store the reserves. That's true, but at the same time, let's let's build a few more up. All right. Okay. All right. Do you want to crop the price? Gee, what and see if it has a has a dramatic impact. I don't know. It's a tricky one. Uh, check the competition. Vehicle sales in Chicago. Uh, no, all companies, please. Oh, no, no. Well, okay, we'll just do this. See, look, look at these guys. They're selling multiple different types of car. Yeah, I know, but stuff those people. Those are those guys. We're, we're us. The Knowledge sold 35 at 2-3. Let's see if we can't run them out of town. All right, you're, you're making more vehicles this month. So, uh, so rock it down to two and a half, to two, four. All right, we'll go at two, three, nine, nine. That's still higher than them. We'll go at two, two, nine, nine. This is not a sizable amount of profit, but if we can rock it upwards, then we're happy. Now, before you hit proceed, how much did we sell this month? 45, let's call it 46,000 worth. All right, punch it. Yeah. Cash flow minus 12, extra production. 
we sold 50,000's worth. Yeah, but your profit margin is lower. 50,000 with lower profit. What's the... I, I hold... I, I need brain. Talk to me, brain. Brain, talk to me. Is it better to have better margin or better net revenue? Better margin every day. Is it? Uh, look, you've just made a big loss, right? So you sold 22. Sure. Yeah, you produced an eight over what you're selling. Yeah, all right. I think you've gone too aggressive on your price. Okay. Well, you, you know, the customers are going to be uh, all over the place. They're going to be going, what price are you selling it at this month? Fiverr. You go, oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Uh, all right. Well, let's let's bump the price up to 26. 2650. That feels good. All right. Now, if we can sell 1415, something like that, that wouldn't be bad. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. Do it. Hold on. Check the money. 50,578. Okay. Yeah. Go. 39,750. Sold way less. Produced lots. Got some reserves now. Yes, but you just, you, you punched your flipping cash flow in the guts and it went up. Oh, thanks. Uh, yeah. One more like that. And then we'll crop down the manufacturing again. Uh, yes. Okay. 39,750. Yeah. Lost 23,000. How? I think we possibly paid tax. Oh, gosh darn it. Yeah. Oh, gosh darn it. Right. Okay. We now got 47 in reserve. So now you can, you can crop your manufacturing down to a single line. Uh, and then we're going to open a second sales outlet. Oh, yeah. I think if we can double up on the sales, even if we're, we we may, you know, we may lose margin on those extra sales, I think that uh, the, the upshot is actually a, a strong positive. I like your confidence. Thanks. Where are we going to open the office? I don't know. Somewhere nearby so that the shipping costs aren't too much. Uh, but somewhere that can actually contribute to the bottom line. Because remember, you've got to offset the cost of actually running that office. True. We lost two and a half grand. How? Okay, that's bizarre. Yeah. You lost two and a half grand. Yes. Having um, sold only one less than you produced. I think your sums are off by a lot. How? <sighs> You can keep saying how as much as you like. Expenditures, materials, 23K. Furlough costs, that's my staff who aren't working on making stuff, 1,600 quid. All right, okay. Warranties, 900, yeah. Yeah. You've then got the total factory cost. You're not absorbing the running costs of your factory. Ah, yeah. Ah, uh, is right. So I have got to get volumes up then. Otherwise, it's the, the factory itself is going to drag me under. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, look, you've got 48 in reserve. Open the second sales office because if we've got to get volumes up, we need more sales opportunities. Okay. All right. Love it. Yeah. Oh, this is This is just the best. Uh, right, who have we got next door? We've got Milwaukee, 307,000 civilians. Yeah, you're only going to sell single-digit numbers there. Uh, down here in Indianapolis, 183, no. Toledo, 143, no. Uh, that's Detroit, which is 341, yes. Uh, you've got Kansas City, mm. what about uh, What about somewhere like New York or Philadelphia, which are much larger? True. Right. Uh, and then, come on, come on, come on. Just that. Thank you. 3.7 million. You're going to shift loads. All right. Okay. The branch costs are not going to be cheap, but let's make it happen. All right. Do it. Yeah. Make it happen. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm making it happen. Right. 26.50. Yes. The, uh, the Ord Humler, the Ord Humler, sold 55 and it's a worse car okay 
it's a worse car, but it is a 1901 model. We're still selling the 1900. Doesn't matter. Those the prices we're offering this should work. So you're predicting a uh, a turnaround of immediate kind of fashion. Sure. <laughs> Go on then. Forty-two grand positive. Yes, that's the number we were looking for. There we are. We're into it, and now we will have shifted most of the backlog. Sold fifty. Yes, bruv. Now we're there. All right. Okay, we're into it now. Ramp up production. Sure. I'd uh, have a quick look and see what our our, uh, our shipping costs are here. Distribution shipping costs fifty two a unit. That's okay. That's within tolerance. Certainly within tolerance. We sold twenty seven here. You see. No, we didn't. We sold thirty four. We're a market leader with no marketing. You sure there's no marketing? Uh, no, there is marketing. Marketing, obviously, it goes everywhere you've got a sales office. 10-4, got it, ready, understood. So uh, so head back to Chicago. Let's crank out some more units. Open another sales office. I think we might open another sales office. Factories, production, yeah. We sold how many? 50, yeah. Okay. 77 and another sales office. It's a gamble. Yeah, I know, but I'm in the I'm in the black. Let's make it happen. All right. Okay. Yeah. Philadelphia, here I come. Uh, branch. Yeah. Uh, clone Chicago, please. Build the branch. All right. Back to the branch. Go to the distribution. Yes, 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 yes. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Off we jolly well trundle. All right. This is a gamble. Yeah, I know, but I think we I, I think we run at a loss. Um, but not by a huge amount. Oh, hold on, we got... Oh, look Look at all the say. Oh, 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 look at the information. Uh, new contract request, don't care. Uh, another company's open in Chicago. Yeah, contracts, yeah. Racing series, don't care. Uh, more competition, so more companies have opened. Yeah. We've got decreased demand uh, for the Phaeton in South America. Okay, important. We sold 163 uh, bad boy CXLs last year. Okay, new vehicle type, the limousine. I could get into that. Uh, new component design, a ladder frame. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And we can use new technologies. Uh, front wheel drive and uh, and ladder frames. Sweet. I've got to design my own kit. That's the thing. Is I, That's where I've got to get to next, is that my cash flow is sufficient to offset the cost of R&D. I have a high... What do you think you're going to do? Minus 17,000. Okay. Minus 35,000. I was halfway right. Uh, right. Okay. So we sold 55. That would indicate we only sold five in Philadelphia. We sold 11 in Philadelphia. New York's interest dropped off a little bit. It could just be the time of year. It could be. We have got 35 in reserve, though. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, look, if you, uh, what do you want? More sales office? Look at the report again. Yeah, I'm looking. Now, look at the sales numbers. Did 29,000 in revenue in Philly? Yes. The cost of the office in Philly is what? Uh, well, I've got, I've got charts here. Very good. Um, yeah. Okay, so what do you think? Well, you know, mm -hmm, I don't, but feel free to spell it out. Operations, expense summary, please. Thank you. Um, right. Distribution, branch costs 11000 for three offices. Open another office. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Yeah. All right. Where do we want to go? Uh, somewhere, somewhere big or somewhere close or somewhere big. Yeah. Columbus? No. Columbus isn't big. Uh, what what do you got in Ohio that is quite big? Cincinnati's quite big. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not, is it? I mean, I think you're talking the the, the big West Coast obviouses at this point. Uh, Boston, half a million. Okay, that's not as big as Philly. No. Ship them over the border to Canada. I don't really want to. I'm not sure I'm ready for the Canadian abuse uh, that we'll we'll get from that market. Not yet. Baltimore's not very big. Charlotte. No. Atlanta could be. It's only a hundred thousand. Really? I thought I, I thought Atlanta was larger than that. Uh yeah, St. Louis, no. Yeah, Kansas City, no. Minneapolis. 
No. Detroit. Let's flog them in Detroit. I could zoom in and make all of this clicking a little bit easier, but I'm not going to. Uh, right. Okay. Clone Chicago, please. Now, I should. What I should be doing, of course, is uh, there. You go. Let's uh, let's give the dealership a little bit more. Let's give the sales a little bit more as well. Let's let's goose it just ever so slightly, uh, and see if that helps us along. Okay. If I can shift everything that I'm manufacturing, we could be golden. I want a profit month, please. You're there, but not by much. No, but uh, you sold 73 of 77. But I did pay 10,000 out in manufacturing the, uh, the new studio. And we're building up reserves, even if only ever so gently. So one good high demand month and uh, still 77 uh, 7000 yeah okay what's the what's the problem where's the where's the costs ramping up there well you did you did splash out on the on the detroit branch yeah but it made 34000 in sales yeah but you're you've got to absorb the cost of the branch itself and if you're spending 10 grand on the branch that is going to then mean you're effectively selling those at cost uh, right and that's that's no way to run a bee's knees yeah but you see i want to sell the volume in order to validate the scale of factory why don't you just bump the cost a little bit oh yeah all right yeah distribution we can afford to sell a couple less you know all right okay so 2650 Let's let's bump this to twenty seven ninety nine. Okay, we'll do the same. Where are we? Uh, that's Philly, so we'll do the same in New York. Okay, I mean it's only an extra couple hundred quid, but based on the number of sales that we're doing, that could well be enough to offset the uh, the costs of uh, of of everything, of life. You know, offsetting the costs of life. Yes, I'm all about that. All right. Okay, and then. Once you've got a second model, all of this will start to make some sense. Do you think? No, I don't know. All right, try it once more. All right, one more time, and then we'll call it a day. 8,000. It's just not there. Yes, but you're now building up a larger reserve. But what good is that? No, it means I can stop producing it. So when I start producing a second vehicle, by killing off the reserve... Uh, by by decreasing production and eating into the reserves a little bit more, you know, we'll we'll profit up some. It's a noble idea. I don't know if it's going to work. Tune in next time, people, to find out if it works or not. It's a I'm I'm loving it. I I, I absolutely flipping love it. It's great. Uh, no, this is this is making me oh so very happy because I'm struggling with it. Um, yeah, I mean, I can make another five grand a month by killing the marketing. I don't think that's worth doing. Uh, branch costs, 18 Gs. Yeah. Distribution costs. Let's let's call the branch cost, total distribution cost, 21 and a half grand. Yeah, total materials, 121,000. Total factory cost. Does that take into account material cost? It must do. Yeah, it must do. Are you sure? Well, look, 121, yeah, plus 6, all right, that's 127, plus 11, that's 138. Okay, so the total factory cost, including parts and labour and the cost of the factory itself, is 138 Gs. Right. So that number you were looking at before that scared you somewhat, yeah, I know, was I was, I was ignoring the material costs. Okay, good. I love this game. Thanks very much for watching. Cheerio. Right, I got my coupe, got it set up, got it selling. It's it's a little bit on the edge, you know. We're we're a little bit not quite making it, and uh, and it's really interesting it, uh, because I don't. I mean, as I mentioned, as I've I, as I have offered in my own defence a couple of times, when I played the, the test version of this, and I sunk whoa, two hours in, I guess something like that, into a, into playing a test game and then playing it again to make sure that. I wasn't going to make any stupid mistakes. But what I'm trying to do this year is avoid 
fumbling around the interface on something I'm not 100% familiar with. Now, I fumble around the interface on things that I am familiar with, and therefore you have seen, I'm sure, in the past, just how much I will fumble around with an interface that I have no idea where things are, particularly when the interface is not what one might call 100% intuitive. Um, that's okay, I can forgive, not 100% intuitive. One, for, one person made this, right? and I can, I can forgive a multitude of sins when I know that it's not a multinational corporation who are making unspeakable levels of profit out of Wazoo, making a, making a bit of a, you know, best fist of it that they can with the skill set available. I, that, that's very forgivable. Um, that what isn't forgivable from a video perspective is you kind of going, the button's over there, man. It's over there. Look, look, it's just there. It's just there. It's just there. It's just there. It's just, oh, he's missed it. Um, anyway, uh, is this one going to be successful? I'm scraping a living at the moment. I'm scraping a living out of it. Uh, but what I really need is secondary models. Because then what you can do is you can pulse the, the, the factory to punch out those you know, those models, fiddle with the pricing a little bit, fiddle with the distribution a little bit to get it going places. But what you can't beat is having a car that's a smash hit. When you have a car, or not even a smash hit, any kind of hit at all. A car that is genuinely something that people actually want to buy uh, makes a massive difference. Because then you can get into, right, now let's start rocking some research. Now let's start, to, now let's start trying to get ahead of the competition. Right now, it's just a fight for survival. And, and as much as I find that quite enjoyable, I would far sooner be able to, to dig a little deeper. Now, I'm planning to play this for, well, look, at least half a dozen episodes, right? Because I thoroughly enjoy the game. No, there's not much to look at. But hopefully I can keep you suitably entertained uh, with, the, uh, with the general chatter along the way. We'll see how it goes anyway. But I look forward to seeing you in the next one.